How you folks all doing? Here of none here with your Monday's Minute on June 24th, 2022. ESO News, Electro Merchant, and Gold Merchant stuff, all in a few minutes. So first, up in the news. ESO Live was today at 3 p.m. Uh, with the legendary actor Billy Boyd discussing his work in voiceover work and his role in High Isle. Uh, he actually did the tutorial explanation of Tales of Tribute. I'll leave a link down below so you can uh, take a look at it. Also, upcoming events. Uh, Honor Zenithar is coming up on June 30th at 10 a.m. to July 12th at 10 a.m. Uh, this is going to be a large event uh, where you can get reduction on Wii Shrines. Repair costs are going to be reduced as well. Uh, you're going to get various gifts for doing Master Ritz, killing world bosses, and doing other world events. And you're going to be able to get impress the audio tickets so you can get a nice little quasi griff mount now on june 23rd until july uh june 27th uh laughing on uh, laughing on other community members are raising money for the trevor project a link down below but they're doing a contest uh which is going to include a fan art contest a housing competition and a fashion and screenshot challenge Again, good organization to donate to, good cause. I would recommend everyone get into it. I'll leave a link down below. And yeah, it's good event for Pride Month. And also, High Isle is in update 34 are now live on all platforms, console or PC. Uh, only thing is console players probably have to wait another week until they can get the up incremental update, which is gonna make it a lot easier hunting for that Oak and Soul uh, lead. My recommendation, probably avoid high avoid trying to farm it right now just wait for the patch to come out and enjoy the rest of pile until it does now let us look at the luxury merchant and the golden merchant for this week shall we so you have alinor pedestals shrines shrines to the divines blazers Elsewhere Blazers, Sigil, uh, Stand, Akatosh, Akare, Debella, or Giuliano. So if you want to honor the Divines, eh, this will be the week to get, get go over and visit the Luxury Merchant Shop. Now, on the Golden Merchant this week, for 150k, uh, Necklace of Fanking, which gives you 400 weapon damage and spell damage to your damage ability when you're attacking enemies from the back or sides. I recommend skipping this. This was an interesting set when it first got its major change. And it was actually a pretty high amount of damage, considering when everything else was like 300 damage. But now it's kind of fallen by the wayside with other sets that are just doing more weapon damage and spell damage for easier procs. Also for 150k, Thunderbug's Necklace. Uh, when you take physical damage, you'll deal 4,735 shock damage in a 5 meter radius around you. Flicking over once every 3 seconds, it scales off your weapon or spell damage. Not a great set, and there's other sets that will do a good amount of damage like this, but also heal you, so I'd skip this one. Uh, for 250k, you can get Spell Power Cure Necklace, uh, which is a really good one to get if you're a healer, and you don't have the Imperial City DLC, so you can't get into White Gold Tower. Uh, yeah, I, I would definitely pick this up if you're a healer and you don't have that, but if you do have VSO Plus or whatever, this is a pretty easy set to get, and I do recommend farming it out. Then also for 250k, Grizzly Gourmet, which is another, I want to say it's White Petal Bastion. No, wait, Rose Bastion? I can't remember the D It's a DLC dungeon. Uh, one of the more recent ones here, but dealing with light attack grants you a light sta a stack of Baker's Delight for five seconds. After three stacks, you create a street roll uh, next to your target. And if you were an ally touch that street roll, you get a bit of an extra health and power and major force for 10 seconds. That can occur once every two seconds. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Some people may like it, other people may hate it. Also for 100k, Kraz Arm Cops. Which is not a bad, bad DPS set, I'd say, if you don't have enough penetration. But most people are probably are over-penetrating over already. And Prior Thickest Arm Cops. Which, uh, again, you, you could probably use the keys to gamble for, but if you just wanted to get it for your sticker book collection, it'd be a, it'd be a good one to get. Anyway, I'm here. I've done. That's the Monday's Minute. 
I'll see y'all in Tamriel. Meow, 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 meow.